that's pretty rigid. Right, need something for the axles to go through. And I shall use barbecue skewers for the axles anyway. Because everybody seems to be able to get hold of them. If you can't get hold of barbecue skewers, um, bamboo canes, or uh, wooden dowel. But these are, I mean, that pack of 50 is usually a pound or something like that, so they're pretty cheap. So, drinking straw. You need it to be longer than the width of your car, because you need the wheels to stay away from the edge of the car, you don't want them to rub on it. And with these, I'm going to use two bottle tops and tape them back to back like that, so I've got wider wheels. So I need to allow for that. So probably a good half an inch more. our front axle and I, I've left a gap there so that we'll be able to push the rubber band through so we can tie it onto that piece of wood just by pushing it through itself. Okay. For the back, we need the overlap again, but we're going to cut the middle here in a minute.
might want to add a bit of extra tape just to strengthen it a bit more. Right, now we need to cut the middle out. So that we can attach the rubber band to the axle. I'll just demonstrate while we're up close. That's how you can attach the rubber band to the back axle, just by wrapping it over itself. Now, wheels.